application software so till now we have completed the system software and utilities okay in the previous video so now we are going to to talk about application softwares okay as the name suggest application software means applications means useful things that uh, we are doing we, we are using so application software is just a set of program as we have uh, studied this thing that software is set of program so application software is also a set of program uh, de developed by programmers in order to perform specific work or task okay this software can be run only if system software is present in the computer that means in in the diagram you can see that uh, basically in uh, at the inner part hardware is there and then on hardware we install system software and on system software application softwares are installed so uh, this point uh, this software can be run only if system software is present in the computer without system software application softwares are of no use okay next uh, the user can even execute these programs without having background of programming that means uh, uh, without uh, knowing the backgrounds of a programming or basic uh, what is the working of that thing we can use the application software i'm uh, quoting an example for this uh, uh, like for example if you are driving a vehicle or riding a bike so you don't know the exact basic working of that uh, bike that how engines work how uh, fuel is going inside and other internal working you only know how uh, to how to uh, start a bike you have to put a key and then you have to accelerate and brake etc so uh, without internal knowledge of the working of that particular bike you can ride the bike so similarly here this application software also without the uh, background knowledge of programming you can use that application software okay it has various application areas like inventory control uh, the examples or areas of that application software includes inventory inventory means stock uh, what things are coming in a particular uh, warehouse or a stock and what is uh, things we are uh, exporting okay these things comes in inventory control airline or railway reservation payrolls means uh, employee management system you can say banks and university so these are the areas where application softwares are used okay next uh, types of application software so application software is categorized into three categories first is general purpose application software okay next is specific purpose application software and the third one is customized application software so uh, these are the types of application software and we already knew that uh, hardware includes cpu ram and input output processor and on hardware we install system software that is having os utilities device driver etc and on os uh, and these we will install other application software and user always interact with the application software okay so uh, see here uh, now we will talk about the general purpose application software as the name says it is a general software that uh, that is required by everyone for doing the day to day life work okay it is uh, it is not possible to make software for each and every application so some general purpose application software are designed to meet the needs of individual or organization so these uh, general purpose software are, are uh, includes the packages such as word ms word we are using for typing text or taking print out of that or for doing assignments etc okay for reports etc next a uh, type of uh, general purpose software is presentation software so for to uh, to uh, to uh, give of uh, things to large number of audience we will prefer presentation software in our school also many presentations are going on uh, in the auditorium so that presentation is uh, generally used to uh, uh, give and lecture or to make some uh, some topic understand to the large audience so the for that presentation softwares are required so the this presentation also comes under the category of general purpose application software electronic sheet that is excel sheet for doing the calculations on large amount of data and database management system for keeping the data in a record and then using the queries to fetch that particular data graphics and multimedia software that uh, music player etc that they also comes under the category of general purpose application softwares okay
so uh, let's talk about the word processing software so here in the image in in the image you can see this is the outline of a general uh, purpose word processing software so how you can open it you have to install an office package for that and in office package we are having this ms word package and uh, other presentation excel word uh, excel dbms etc okay so the, this word processor helps you to create a structured text document quickly and efficiently we can format the data we can apply color to a page we can apply watermark border etc okay we can provide multiple features to manipulate the text in a desired way however we want to we can form greetings we can make a magazine cover etc with the help of word ms word okay we can easily add delete rearrange or beautify the text through formatting and also produce a hard copy of the document ms word writer word pro word pad and open office are examples of this word processing software and uh, in uh, practical sessions also we will do this word processing and we will use presentation also and we will use the excel etc okay so next type of software is electronic or spreadsheet it is in the form of rows and columns or uh, Uh, here you can see it is in the form of row and column a b c d e f g r there there are the columns and 1 2 3 4 5 are the rows and it is in the form uh, one one uh, particular sheet is is uh, is like a page and whole thing of this book one is known as worksheet okay so spreadsheet is just a program that helps uh, to perform calculations analyze data and display the information in a tabular manner it is a program that manipulates numbers using its inbuilt formulas in this we can use formulas and functions formulas such as addition average minimum maximum par square root etc we can find with the help of excel sheet or spreadsheet okay we can also display the data in a form of charts or graphs for analyzing it in a proper way okay Uh, this can be understand and analyze the data in a better way some of the application areas of this electronic spreadsheets are this uh, lotus 1 2 3 ms excel calc etc okay so this uh, this picture shows the microsoft excel screen okay so this is about spreadsheet software and uh, next is presentation software to uh, form slides to represent the large audience okay so this presentation software it is used to present an idea or a concept it is also used in businesses or meetings to present the idea this software is so so helps to create and display slides on the computer for business and educational purposes it also uh, it also let us create graphics charts animation and video clips we can insert in this animations we can apply examples are microsoft powerpoint and impress impress is open office tool okay so this is about presentation software okay next type of software is database management system software dbms in short we called it dbms okay so uh, data is the main thing that is used in computer so this database management software is used to manage that particular data everyone uses database in daily life so database means uh, we are keeping records somewhere so in uh, school also your class teacher uses this database management system to uh, keep your data in register for example register is a manual dbms so in register teacher keeps your name and then your date of birth and address etc so uh, other examples are we can maintain a phone direct directories payroll payroll means employees attendance etc figures and uh, budget accounts etc so in a computer also a database and a cui that is a uh, a common user interface software that helps us uh, to store and manage a large amount of information in an organized way way we can easily we can easily add find update sort search the information stored in the database that means uh, with the help of this ms access software we can do these things so ms access is a type of dbms software okay uh, add means we can add record we can search record we can update or change the record we can sort them alphabetically or or we can 
and put some other data inside it it also present the information in a uh, in the in, in the form way okay that is personal per professionally designed reports also and example of this uh, dbms are ms access oracle software or mysql cybase etc these are the examples of D database management system soft database management system software okay next type of uh, application software is desktop publishing package this desktop publishing package is used for the uh, it, it is also known as advancement of dtp dtp is the short form of desktop dt stands for desktop and p for publishing package okay same work that uh, a printing press could do in few days or it can take large time that that can be done with the help of uh, desktop publishing software within a few hours so you can say with the help of dtp the work uh, the time uh, of publishing something is reduced okay dt packages can combine both text and graphic figures to design professional documents so with this desktop publishing software we can design newsletters newsletters mean electronic paper you can say printed forms advertisement brochures okay posters magazines books etc can be designed with the help of desktop publishing packages examples of desktop publishing packages are page maker in design and coral draw etc so these are the softwares that can be used for desktop publishing packages okay next type of soft, uh, application software is multimedia software so multimedia software it is used to create and play videos animations sound graphics and text with a high degree of interaction we have used that window movie maker uh, in our previous class 8th class okay so that is also a type of multimedia software okay with that we can create movies and that vlc player or window media players these comes under the category of multimedia software so this is all about the application softwares that are general purpose application software now we will talk about the specific purpose application software as the name says it is specific purpose application software means it is used for specific purposes or special purposes you can see okay so let's talk about this special purpose application software so special purpose application software developed by programmers to perform only specific task okay these are some specific application softwares which are uh, given here first one is accounting management so accounting management software is a software uh, that uh, that are used for doing the accounts work okay so a proper accounting software is needed by all all to store and manage accounts transactions etc so example of this accounting management software is tally tally is a popularly used application uh, this accounting management software apart from tally uh, there are other software like wings and busy so these are common uh, popular accounting softwares used in india uh, as a accounting management software next type of uh, specific purpose application software is reservation system so reservation system uh, the, uh, is used for making the reservations reservations can be of air airlines hotels etc okay so examples of this application reserv uh, reservation systems are uh, make my trip.com yatra.com or thomascook.com so these are the examples of reservation system softwares okay next category of specific purpose application software is attendance system software so uh, the organizations prefer customized attendance system for their employees with facilities like fingerprint scanning or personalized sim based card system okay so it is used for maintaining the attendance okay next type of software is school inventory control so different companies are providing school management software uh, that is that are, that are having facilities like students registration and admissions can be done transport maintenance management can be done with that library management this is a uh, in, uh, school inventory control is a full package that includes the students registration thing transport maintenance management software and then library management also automated examination management system uh, managing 
learning hostel and uh, automated timetable generator and uh, tracks students and staff attendance staff salary generation and expenses manage expenses management analyzing the performance of a school so all of these comes under the category of school inventory control software and that is also a part of specific purpose application software because they are having a specific purpose for doing that particular thing next type of uh, soft, uh, specific purpose application software is hr management software that is human resource management software it helps in recording the personal and official details of an employee it stores the complete profile of a student or candidate which can be modified and check for available positions and thus it's provide an easy and ref reference to the employee in search of a desired candidate so this is used in companies next type of software is payroll system that is uh, for Uh, salary related things okay so many organization use payroll software to manage the payroll systems of their enterprise this software manages the monthly salary slips annual salary report calculation of employees tax details and other things okay and uh, last uh, uh, but not the least specific application specific purpose software is billing system so commercial organization uh, such as hotels shopping malls hospitals and other stores uh, they are using this billing software for generating the bills this software provides the options of credit and prepaid payment system it increases the speed of data processing and also include the applications of discount penalties and tariffs on the products so this is about the specific purpose application software okay now let's talk about the customized software customized software is uh, same as the specific purpose application software but uh, this this is based on the particular organization requirement so customized software that is specially designed for a particular organizations or user and uh, the requirements of the users can be changing frequently okay so it is it is built to cater to the needs of a specific company not the mass market or the common people okay some of the customized software examples are commercial websites so websites uh, individual uh, wants a uh, different types of websites so they comes under the category of customized software or business databases so organizations are using their own softwares for doing their work uh, so this a uh, customized software it is it can be easy easy it is it can easily be modified according to the changing requirement and it has helps in integrating different types of work in a single software so it uh, thus it eliminates the need of purchasing different types of applications or licenses so this customized software means according to the re requirement of the customers okay so that is about customized software uh, now uh, let us talk about the mobile applications or in short form we call call it as a apps okay so an application uh, is a software designed to do specific job or uh, this we can say that app is the short form of application softwares okay so an app enables you to do something specific like you can paint draw read maps and barcodes take photograph uh, play games uh, and then edit videos and do all the things uh, on a smartphone or devices the word app is mostly used to refer to the software that runs on smartphones or mobile phone so these apps are designed to work on different types of operating system and that operating system um is used by devices like android app you can say so android is an operating system for mobile ios app okay and we can download it the these types of app from the play stores and play store can be google play apple store or xbox or windows store etc so uh, this is about this mobile apps okay these are nothing they're just like the application software in terms of mobile we call it with the short name that is apps okay so uh, now uh, we will talk about the types of applications or types of apps okay so there are three categorization of apps first is desktop apps second is web apps and third is mobile apps so desktop applications or apps means they runs on the desktop okay or uh, we call them stand alone application without the need of internet they will run so 
टू रन डेस्कटॉप एप्लीकेशन इट मस्ट बी फर्स्ट इंस्टॉल ऑन द डेस्कटॉप और लैपटॉप एंड देन वी कैन यूज देम एग्जाम्पल्स आर ऑल द सॉफ्टवेयर दैट आर आर इन बिल्ट ऑन और डेस्कटॉप और वी इंस्टॉल दैम कम्स अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ डेस्कटॉप एप्लीकेशन लाइक पेंट वर्ड नोट पैड एंड पीपीटीज एक्सेट्रा एक्सेल सो दे वी कैन इंस्टॉल दैम और दे विल बी प्री इंस्टॉल इन यूर computer so that you can use them okay so such applications are known as desktop applications and next is web applications web applications requires an internet connection and they web means internet okay so examples are google map instant messenger so they comes under the category of web apps and uh, mobile apps means the applications that runs on tablet or smartphones they comes under the category of mobile apps so mobile apps can